Hello everybody, we are going to start standard course SSC chapter number 14 our agriculture. As you already know that we have covered the first part of this chapter. Now let's start the second part of this chapter. Cash crops, oil seeds. Cash crops from class crops. Let's start oil seeds. Oil seed provide oil for cooking food. Okay. Oil seeds, what, what we are getting from oil seeds? Oil, okay. And what we are using oil? We are using oil for cooking, okay. Oil seeds provide oil for cooking food. This oil is called vegetable oil, okay. And this is called vegetable oil. Why? Because oil seeds are also called vegetable, okay. Then groundnut. Linseed, coconut and mustard are grown in various parts of India. In various parts of India, what we are getting? Groundnut, linseed, coconut and mustard. Okay. Then, mustard oil is produced in Punjab and Haryana. Haryana. Mustard oil. Where mustard oil has been produced? Punjab and Haryana. Okay. Then, Groundnut is grown in Gujarat, Maharashtra and South India. Groundnut. Groundnut, as you already know that, groundnut, my favorite, it is my favorite eating things, okay, groundnut. So, groundnut, where they are producing? Groundnut is grown in Gujarat, Maharashtra and South India, okay. Then, sugarcane. Next is sugarcane. Sugar cane is also very good for our health. Then, India is leading producer of sugar cane in the world. Okay, India is also leading producer of sugar cane in the world. Okay, then it is used to produce sugar and gore, gore or jaggery. Okay, without sugar, can you live? Early in the morning when our mama is making tea, what she is adding? Sugar, right? And gore or jaggery also is very important. So, this both the things we are getting from the sugar cane, okay? Uttar Pradesh is the leading producer of sugar cane. Uttar Pradesh is the leading producer of sugar cane. Then, it is also grown in Bihar, Haryana, Punjab, Maharashtra, Karnataka and Tamil Nadu, okay? Then, cotton, okay? Cotton is grown in Punjab, Ma Punjab, Gujarat, Madhya Pradesh, Andhra Pradesh, Telangana, and Tamil Nadu. Cotton is used to make clothes. Cotton is used to make clothes. Okay. Sometime in summer season, in summer season we are using the cotton clothes, right? We are using cotton clothes in summer season. Why? Because in summer season we feel very hot, right? Or uh, summer sun. Sun is give, give its full of full light as well as full heat. So during that time we need some comfortable clothes, right? And because of too much sweat, we can use cotton clothes. Okay. So cotton is grown in Punjab, Gujarat, Madhya Pradesh, Andhra Pradesh, Telangana, and Tamil Nadu. Then cotton is used to make clothes. Okay. Then jute. Jute grows well in hot and wet. Climate. Okay, jute is grown and is in a well in a hot and wet climate. Then it is called the golden fiber of India. Okay, jute is known as the golden fiber of India. What jute is known as the golden fiber of India. Okay, then West Bengal, Assam, Bihar, and Odisha are main jute producing areas. Jute is used to make bags and carpet. Jute is used to make bags and carpets. Okay. Now tea. Tea is the plantation crop. Tea is the plantation crop. Tea grows well on high land and well drained soil. Assam, West Bengal, and Nilgiri hills in the southern are famous for the tea estate. Tea estate. Okay. Then. India is one of the world's largest producer of tea. India is the world largest producer of tea. Okay. Then cotton, uh, coffee. 
नेक्स्ट इज कॉफी कॉफी इज ऑल्सो अ प्लांटेशन फ्रो ओके टी एज यू नो अवर मॉर्निंग कैन नॉट बी हैपन विदाउट टी एंड कॉफी राइट सो कॉफी कॉफी इज ऑल्सो अ प्लांटेशन फ्रो कॉफी एंड कोका आर ग्रोन इन केरला कर्नाटका एंड तमिलनाडु कॉफी इज ग्रोन वेर केरला कर्नाटका एंड तमिलनाडु देन स्पाइसिस स्पाइसिस एज यू ऑलरेडी नो दैट विदाउट स्पाइसिस और विदाउट टेस्ट विदाउट स्पाइसिस वी कैन नॉट हैव टेस्ट ऑफ एनी फूड राइट सो वॉट विच आर दे स्पाइसिस लेट्स इंडिया इज नोन एज द लैंड ऑफ स्पाइसिस सी अवर इंडिया इज नोन एज द लैंड ऑफ स्पाइसिस ओके एज यू ऑलरेडी नो दैट अदर कंट्रीज अदर कंट्रीज आर आर नोविंग अर्थ स्पेशली इंडिया दे आर नोविंग अर्थ दैट इंडिया इज द लैंड ऑफ टेस्ट इंडिया इज द लैंड ऑफ टेस्ट डिलीशियस थिंग्स ओके दे आर कंसिडर अस एज टेस्ट टेस्ट ऑफ लैंड ओके इंडिया इज द टेस्ट ऑफ लैंड एज टेस्ट ऑफ स्पाइसिस देन लैंड ऑफ स्पाइसिस देन द मालाबार कोस्ट ऑफ केरला एंड कर्नाटका आर द मेन प्रोड्यूसर्स ऑफ स्पाइसिस ब्लैक पेपर कैरेम क्लोस चिलीज जिंजर टर्मरिक आर सम ऑफ द पॉप्युलर स्पाइसिस इन ग्रोन हियर ओके then anthic use on a page number 89 if you will check out there are some anthic use let's check it out first number of blank is called the golden fiber of india first number what blank is called the golden fiber of india as i told you what there are three options a sugarcane b jute c cotton and three b jute answer b jute okay so jute is called the golden fiber of india then second number India is one of the world's largest producer of blank. India is the world's largest producer of blank. There are three options: A, T, B, coffee, and C, coca. What is the answer? Yes, absolutely. Answer is A number T. Answer is T. So T. India is the India is the India is one of the world's largest producer of T. Okay. So here we have completed this T. Two options or to filling the two mcqs now let's start let's let's move further a large variety of vegetables and fruits is grown in india a large varieties of vegetables okay varieties of vegetables and varieties of fruits can be grown in our india okay india is the second largest producer of fruits and vegetables see india is the second largest producer of fruits and vegetables okay fruits and vegetables since independence we have made a lot of progress in the field of agriculture okay since we got the independence since our country has got an independence we have brought a number of changes number of changes in our agriculture field okay irrigation facilities good variety of seeds manures to make the soil fertile and better tools like tractors and the harvesters have have the farmer in yielding a good crops okay different different kinds of seeds different different kinds of irrigation facilities of irrigation as well as different kinds of seeds then varieties of seeds then manure manures and to make the soil fertile and better tools like tractors and harvesters these many things has brought a very good a very good revolution in our in the agriculture field okay so farmer get farmer get a very nice crop farmer gets best results in the field of agriculture okay because of this new new thing okay agriculture institution agriculture institutes have been set up and researches in various areas have helped the farmers in the adaptation modern methods of agriculture okay then the this major improvement in the field of agriculture is often referred to as a green revolution now what do we mean by green revolution so a uh, 
agriculture institutes have been set up and research is research in various areas have helped the farmers in adopting modern methods of agriculture okay different different kinds of things or uh, research is and agriculture institutions have given has helped the farmers in adopting the modern methods okay of agriculture and this major improvement in the field of agriculture in is often referred as a green revolution and it is known as green revolution okay now livestock what do you mean by livestock on a page number 90 okay on a page number 90 cows and buffaloes are called the cattle cows and buffaloes what they are known as cattle okay cattle cows and buffaloes goats cows buffaloes goats and camels gives us milk what they are giving us milk cow buffalo goats they are giving us milk okay then they are called milch cattle okay they are called as milch cattle milk and milk products like cheese butter and ghee come from the these animals okay whichever we are getting cheese butter ghee milk all these things we are getting from the animals only okay we get wool from sheep camels and goats we are getting wool okay why wool we are using nowadays as you know this season which season is going on which season winter season okay so winter season in winter season what we are wearing woolen clothes what woolen clothes so we are getting woolen clothes from the animals like sheep camels and goats okay then cattle also help in plowing the fields cattle also help in plowing the fields okay bullocks are also used as a means of transportation okay right now we are using the lot of vehicles for transport transportation but before the time means some years ago bulls no uh, bullocks bullock cart there were bullock carts and they were using the means of transportation as a means of transportation bullock okay so bullocks are also used as a means of transportation cattle weight is used as a manner and also used to produce biogas so cattle weight cattle weight means whichever they are wasting or whichever they are giving after eating what they are giving you know so that that waste it can be used it can be used and it is produce what is produced biogas okay biogas and its waste can be used as a manner that will help to our farmers to grow the crops okay then nowadays cattle are given good quality diet and special medicine special medical attention nowadays cattle are given are given good quality diet and special medical attention then operation flood operation flood help in increasing the produce the production of milk in and income of the farmers okay then the white revolution has not only increased quality quantity of milk production but made india a world leader made india a world leader in the milk production okay white revolution has not only increased our quantity of the milk production but made our india the world's leader world leader in milk production so here we ended our chapter there are some filling the blanks the first number on a page number 90 only increase in agricultural production due to due to the use of better better techniques of farming and wood varieties of seeds and manners are called what they are called to green revolution actually green revolution okay green revolution sorry green revolution and second number cattle waste is used to produce 
कैटल बेस इज यूज टू प्रोड्यूस मैदा एंड बायो ओके मैदा एंड बायो सो हियर वी हैव कंप्लीटेड आवर चैप्टर देयर आर सम पॉइंट्स टू रिमेंबर सो प्लीज पे अटेंशन हियर फार्मिंग इज द मेन ऑक्युपेशन ऑफ इंडिया ओके फार्मिंग इज द मेन ऑक्युपेशन ऑफ द पीपल ऑफ इंडिया देन इंडियन फार्मर्स ग्रो अ लार्ज वैरायटी ऑफ फूड एंड कैश क्रॉप्स देन खरीफ एंड रबी आर द टू मेन एग्रीकल्चरल सीजन खरीफ एंड रबी ओके दे आर द मेन टू सीजन इन द फील्ड ऑफ एग्रीकल्चरल सीजन ओके देन ग्रीन रिवोल्यूशन ब्रॉड इंप्रूवमेंट इन द फील्ड ऑफ एग्रीकल्चर वॉट ग्रीन रिवोल्यूशन ब्रॉड इंप्रूवमेंट इन द फील्ड ऑफ एग्रीकल्चर देन क्वालिटी क्वालिटी ऑफ क्रॉप्स इंप्रूव ड्यू टू एडप्टेशन ऑफ मॉडर्न मैथड्स ऑफ फार्मिंग गुड क्वालिटी सीड्स फर्टिलाइजर्स एंड इरीगेशन फैसिलिटीज ओके देन वाइट रिवोल्यूशन हेज इंक्रीज the quality and quantity of milk products so dear students here we have completed our chapter now in the next video or in the next part we are going to check out the exercise till then you just go through it read it once more and in the next video we are going to check out the exercise thank you